Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. In this video, we're going to look at Illustrate to Educate's Top 10 of 2022. After the video, let me know what you think belongs in the Top 10. Let's start this off with number 10. 2022 included some major tech news, like on January 18th when Microsoft announced its plans to expand its gaming empire beyond Xbox by acquiring Activision Blizzard for a record $68.7 billion. Later in the year, Twitter accepted Musk's offer to acquire Twitter, a deal valued at $44 billion. Later in July, he pulls out of the deal, causing a lawsuit. However, Musk eventually completes the deal in October and takes ownership and control of Twitter, completely restructuring the company in the process. Coming in at number 9, like most years, 2022 was full of some major weather events. First, there's a continuation of the mega drought, affecting the southwest region of America, which is now considered the worst drought for 1200 years in that area. In February, there were floods and landslides after the heaviest rain in a century in Petropolis, Brazil. On July 5th, the Australian government declared a natural disaster amid Greater Sydney's fourth major flood in 18 months. During hurricane season, Hurricane Ian makes landfall as a high-end Category 4 hurricane near Cayo Costa, Florida with winds at 150 miles per hour. Lastly, on November 27th, Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, erupts for the first time in nearly 40 years on Hawaii's Big Island. Number 8. On January 26th, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement and the next day, U.S. President Joe Biden pledged to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court. On April 7th, Ketanji Brown Jackson became the first black woman to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate to the Supreme Court in a 53-47 to 47 vote. Coming in at number 7, while we're on the subject of the U.S. Supreme Court, the Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization is a landmark decision that occurred in June in which the U.S. Supreme Court held that the Constitution of the United States does not confer a right to abortion. The court's decision overruled both Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey, giving individual states the full power to regulate any aspect of abortion not protected by federal law. Number 6. Did you know that on November 15th, the world's population reached 8 billion just 11 years after passing 7 billion? Recently, the world's population growth has slowed down. The 9 billion population benchmark is not expected to be reached until 2037, according to the United Nations. Also, on November 4th, astronomers announced the discovery of the closest known black hole to Earth, just 1,600 light years away, 10 times more massive than our Sun. Number 5. On April 26th, U.S. infectious diseases expert Dr. Anthony Fauci announced that the United States is out of the pandemic phase for the moment. On September 18th, President Joe Biden said, We still have a problem with COVID, and we're still doing a lot of work on it, but the pandemic is over. Number 4. On April 19th, U.S. inflation hit 8.5%, the highest since 1981. This was driven by a rise in gas prices, rent, and food. In order to combat inflation, the Federal Reserve has been attempting to cool the rising inflation rate by raising the interest rate, which is currently at 4% as of November 2nd. This is the fourth consecutive rate hike of three quarters of a percent and the sixth rate hike this year, with more expected to come before the year is over. Number three is the United States midterm elections, which took place on November 8th. Results are showing that Democrats will retain control of the Senate and Republicans will gain a slight majority in the House of Representatives. Also note that on November 15th, former U.S. President Donald Trump announced he is running for president in 2024. At number two is the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Previously on June 2nd, the Queen celebrated her Platinum Jubilee with four days of celebrations starting with a military parade at Buckingham Palace. About three months later, on September 8th, Queen Elizabeth II died at Balmoral Castle after ruling for 70 years as the UK's longest serving monarch. Her eldest son inherits the throne as King Charles III. And finally, the most significant event of 2022 is the Russia invasion of Ukraine. 
On February 21st, Russian leader Vladimir Putin recognized Russia-backed separatists in two Ukrainian regions, ordering in troops for what he termed as peacekeeping functions. Three days later, on February 24th, Putin announced the start of a special military operation in Ukraine to demilitarize the country moments before Russia launched a full-scale pre-dawn invasion by land, air, and sea, with bombings in several cities amid international condemnation. What events do you think make the top 10 of 2022? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.